what's up guys so right now I'm going to go get my eyebrows threaded they're getting a little messy so I decided to get them cleaned up get do what with a needle through th your eyebrows a needle are you serious right now threaded you threading a needle <laughs> that's not how they do it it's just string yeah it's just thread threading that's marketing <laughs> I feel terrible by the way <laughs> that sucks still sick gotta take more vitamin C but no they just they take like a piece of thread and they stick like one end in their teeth and then they just go ch -ch 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 -ch, and they use two pieces of thread to like grab the hair and pull it out and it's supposed to be like way better than waxing yeah you'll see how it's done you'll see how it's done but yeah I mean it does hurt John's coming with me for moral support <laughs> I mean it's not excru excru excruciating pain but it does hurt like a little bit Who figured this out? Use thread to do this. Be the worst sewing accident ever. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be way better for you than waxing. Because I guess, like, when you wax your eyebrows or you wax your skin, it pulls it a certain way and it can, like, make your skin lose elasticity and give you wrinkles. And the threading just does it a little better and it's supposed to last way longer. It's crazy. Mm hmm. You should get it done, John. Yeah. Clean yours up a little bit. Nope. Lots of guys get their eyebrows done. Lots guy. of straight guys. Have it. <laughs> How's it feel? Good. I think my eyes are watering a little bit. Mm. Hi, Mama. Mama kitty. Hey, pretty girl. Yay! I'm happy. I'm all cleaned up and I'm back home now. I do think eyebrow threading hurts a little more than waxing. It feels like plucking. I think plucking hurts more than waxing, but I do like eyebrow threading better because it's just way faster. It's just like choo, 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 choo. all done. So that's really nice, but you do feel that pulling of the hairs. It is kind of chilly outside today. Well, it's windy, so that's why. But Kenobi's been outside all day long. In the end. Hey, buddy. Okay, why do you always have to sniff my crotch so? Ah, oh, big dog. Oh, baby. Are you done? Or you want to play with me? Yeah, let's play. Let's play. Let's play, big dog. But this is Kenobi's kind of weather. Kenobi loves when it's cooler outside because he's a polar bear. Aren't you a polar bear dog? He looks like one. <gasps> oh, okay. So finally we had a gardener come and trim up all the grass in our lawn. Look how beautiful it looks now. So gorgeous. I'm pretty sure we could be featured in a Home and Gardens magazine. We have the best lawn on the planet. Isn't it kind of weird to think about the origins of things though? Like, who decided and when one day that like a lawn has to be perfectly manicured, it has to have grass and it has to be cut just a certain length and that is what will look good. It was Thomas Lawn back in 1830, one. So I read that box turtles really like to swim and in the wild they swim around in ponds and stuff but it did say that they're a little bit clumsy when they swim so I decided to let our box turtle have a little fun today so I'm filling up the bathtub in here and we'll see how much he likes swimming. I think that should be good and I made sure it's not too hot or not too cold. That should be good because we don't want it too full so he can get to a shallow end if he wants to. Well, he was sitting in his water dish when I went in there. Look at him. He's like, what's up? What's up? What's up, everyone? It is your lucky day, little buddy. Here you go. Playtime. He has bark falling off of him. He's floating. Oh my gosh, you are so cute! <laughs> Hi! 
Do 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 do. <laughs> I think he's having fun. <laughs> right. <laughs> look at him, look at him. He just went underwater, yeah. <laughs> I think he enjoys it. I think he does too. Is this the first time you're giving him a bath? No, I gave him a bath once, like a while ago. Anyway, really he seems to like it more this time, yeah. But he's older now. You trying to call him over to your finger? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Here, boy. Because <laughs> um, I, I read that they swim in the wild. Like, they hang out in ponds a lot. They're turtles, Nikki. Well, like, tortoises don't go in the water. You know the difference between a tortoise and a turtle is? Yes. All right. <laughs> He's actually getting really big. Now that I take him out, I can see that. Because I'm always like, why aren't my turtles growing? But I guess when you see him every day, you just don't notice that much. Well, I guess I'll just let him play in there for a while. Let him get his exercise and clean up a little more since he can get deeper. It's deeper than his little water dish in his cage. Aphrodite! Then she stops. <laughs> yeah. As soon as you turn the camera on. Aphrodite, do you like being held? Yes, <laughs> mom. <laughs> Laying on my shirt. She always lays on my shirt. It's kind of funny. Like, she lays on that sweatshirt. She lays on this shirt. So I just got back from the gym, and oh my gosh, I have jelly legs right now. The class I took was really hard. I took a kickboxing class, and it was all just squats and burpees, so I was tired after that class. Ooh, and I actually have some kind of bummer news to tell you guys. The other night, our praying mantis died. But I looked it up on the internet, and um, it lived to its maximum life expectancy, so that's really good. They usually, the internet said that they usually live from spring to fall, but this praying mantis would have lived from spring to spring, and it said the maximum they can live in captivity is one year. That's what day it is. What day? Guess. I don't know. It's a pretty big day. What? I got a text knows. message. It's garbage day. I have to go put the garbage out. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Well, yes. So it's Garbage, garbage Eve. Eve. <laughs> yeah. Well, isn't that exciting? Uh, not really. Thor, should we go put the trash out? Let's roll. Knock yourself out. That was random. He just came down here to tell me that, I guess. He's like, oh, I have to say something. So it's already 10 o'clock and I'm hungry and I don't know how to thaw chicken. I was planning on making some chicken marsala for dinner for us tonight and I don't know how to thaw chicken. So I had to ask John to thaw the chicken for me. Doodle bear. Yeah, he got that cupcake in the mail vlog last night. <laughs> It'll thaw rather quickly in the water like this. That wastes water. But I get chicken. What? <laughs> oh, don't you dare! You will ruin the camera, no, mister! That's the only reason I didn't. <laughs> Thank you! This <laughs> mom was here. Is that really embarrassing, though, that I don't know how to thaw chicken? Hey, you didn't even start it. I did. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna need the full 16 minutes though. You only let it run for like five minutes, so I'll probably be done. Okay. You peel those potatoes. I will peel these potatoes. Good. Look at how nice I am. Look at me doing all these wifey duties. <laughs> I guess I'm cooking John like a full on dinner tonight. John's like, can we have a side? And I'm like, absolutely, we can have a side. I'll make some mashed potatoes. <laughs> cool story, right? Is that a new ball? Every time I squeak it, he's like, eh. Whoa, hey, 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 whoa. Whoa, Thorcam, whoa. Mmm, <laughs> that looks kind of good. It should be good. You should cut little slits in the chicken breast so you can get the stuff in there. Okay. Mika's actually a really good cook. She's making her famous potatoes. <laughs> I love them. Yeah, a lot of people like my potatoes, I guess. 
These are really big chicken breasts. That's what she said. We'll probably have leftovers, but thank you for the compliment. Where that chicken got a lot of dudes. Ooh. Ooh, this beater goes so fast. This is just on one. So it's making me nervous. Ah! But everything's almost done. Don't liquefy those to... potatoes. Huh? Don't liquefy the potatoes. I know. I'm um, using the mixer before I put milk in there or anything. But it should be really good. I used fresh garlic in here because we had some left over. Yum. Mmm. That's just like butter. Potatoes are like butter. Yum. No milk yet either. I don't think we need milk. Well, here is the meal that I created all done. I've been nibbling as I cook, so I know that it's really good already. But it's already late, so John and I are gonna relax and watch some TV we're eating upstairs right now. Plus the table has, still has mail stuff on it from the mail vlog last night. So on that note, do you wanna say goodbye, John? Goodbye. And then we have one, two, three, beggars. <laughs> anyway guys, always remember that I love you and stay tuned for more vlogs. Mwah!